Okay, for everybody that hasn't seen our house, this is the third floor. This is Rachel's room. This is Rachel's big girl bed. We just got this for her. And here are some shelves we just had built. We are dividing it up, and this is going to be the new baby's room for a little while. Okay, when we moved in, this was all this ponderosa pine you see here, very 1978 is when the place was redone. We had it all ripped out, um, except for this piece right here and the uh, banister you see right here. The wood floors, they're all new. And this is the second floor. Okay, this is the master bedroom. Again, the new wood. It was actually all the really ugly green carpet. Um, there's still a little remnant of it in the basement there and coming around. This is one of two wood burning fireplaces we have. It's in our bedroom. There, the, uh, There's one in the kitchen right below our feet here. And coming around we repainted the entire room and there's the little cradle for the new baby when uh, he comes in October. Okay, this is actually the uh, second bedroom on the second floor and we had it converted into a dressing room. It's really convenient to have all your clothes in one place uh, for us. This is Teresa's shelf. I've got some stuff here too. We actually had it built in there. Um, it's been working out great. We got used to the closet organizers we had in the old house, so we put them in here. Teresa found this beautiful, I guess you call it a dressing stool. It's great. Um, don't have to wake up her or Rachel. I can just come in here, turn on the lights, and get dressed, pull, pull my stuff okay, together. It's about quarter to eight o'clock and this is actually the front of our house. Actually, it's not a house, it's a condominium, pretty loose condominium regulations, though we actually live in this half, right here, and our neighbor is Mary, back there. The place was redone in 1978. And we think it was originally four units because there's four front so doors. This is our patio. Our well, patio area. It's, you know, a lot bigger than it looked when we originally bought it because we're used to this enormous deck out back. But uh, we still have all the same patio furniture. Um, this is, you know, you see our grill under the stairs. And this is our fire pit. Haven't used it yet. Um, I don't know what any of those are. I'm going to have to clean it all out. That's a project for next year. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot bigger than then we originally gave it credit for when we bought the place. And we run up to the carriage house. Got a nice little deck here. Teresa, our guest, can sit out and have a cup of coffee in the morning. It's a blast. Okay, this is it. This is one of our favorite parts of the house. This is the carriage house. Um, it's got a full bath. No great shakes. It's a regular bath, shower. Um, Teresa actually uses this as a studio, and Rachel has her little studio table there. Rachel loves that. Plenty of storage right over there, but underneath the uh, the roof line there, and there's a closet, nice mirror. Teresa's working desk, she uh, makes all her jewelry right there. This has been a huge boon for her business. It's absolutely taken off after she got her own studio. She can have clients over here and there. They feel really at home, they love it. Um, full kitchen here, it's, it's got a range, uh, not an oven. Okay, so that's, I mean, it's very few, none of our guests actually want to come here and bake. So they're not, they're not missing anything. Um, sleeping loft up there, it's got some of my file boxes. Right now I've got to the basement, it, we flooded down here, it's a long story. Um, but there's a lofted area and there's a lofted area, so my beer making supplies up there. So you can sleep quite a few people. Here, nice little flat screen right there, and this is the bed, pulls out into a double bed, another one of Rachel's toys, right there. Teresa decided to do some decorating, looks gorgeous. Nice chair, nice stool. Uh, this stool is actually, uh, can be a stool or an end table and it folds up. That stool, the top actually folds over and it's a nice little serving table. This is a great little space we have here. Okay, here we are back in the main house. This is our kitchen and we want to rip it out. It's, it's First of all, the kitchen on Eastview was absolutely brand new. Um, the only thing new here is the Bosch range, and it's a wonderful range. Um, but we had to buy it new. Um, with the, the place, this is late 70s, and the, the countertop is actually a laminate, and it's, it's faux leather. Uh, the floor, I guess, is okay. 
the fireplace is staying. We've got this really big, huge, nice fireplace down in the kitchen, and it's it's you know we're going back and forth whether we want to make this more of a living room area or keep it entirely a kitchen because this is just a gorgeous fireplace and our copper pot full of wood, desk and working area, um, sort of a just a utility cabinet there, the door to the second bathroom and the main house. Again, it's no great shakes. But yeah, the, these cabinets, these cupboards, it's all, all, all getting ripped out. Just don't know when. Certainly not this year. Certainly not next year. This is bare wood. We had to build this in special to house the washer and dryer. The basement is finished. When they finish the basement, the space is so small you can't get a washer and dryer down there, even though that's where our hookups are. So we had to put a new closet in and the, we haven't stained these doors yet and put a new electric washer and dryer in there. Works great, brand new washer dryer, happy with it. Um, these floors were just an old ugly green carpet. Really thrilled to have the hardwood down in there. That's downstairs to the basement. Again, brand new. This whole thing, the stairway, um, the basement way, this wall, everything is all new. It was literally just a hole in the floor. Okay, with some ponderosa pine, looked like fencing around it that somebody thought. I mean, it was probably all the rage back in 1978. Today it just looked dated um, and it, it was ugly. It's nothing we wanted to keep. Okay, this is the last room in the house. This is the finished bar down in the basement. We're in German Village and we have a finished basement. Again, very lucky to have this. This is the. Uh, Bistro table and chairs, Teresa got for me. And these are the, the easy chairs, I guess, uh, just lounge chairs she got for me too. Uh, here we have the actual bar, and it is a wet bar. It's got hot and cold running water, there's a cabinet underneath it. Uh, another chair there. It can't wait to get it finished. It was actually, uh, there's the closet I keep all my hunting and fishing gear in. It was actually very close to finish uh, a couple of, couple of months ago and there's the wine cabinet. We had a wine table actually between those two chairs and as I was saying it was my record players, some, some scotch, some scarves from the Caribbean I just picked up last time we were there. There's um, what was probably an outstanding entertainment center in 1978, 1980 when this place was redone. Um, now our entertainment center is literally the size of a deck of cards. It's just an iPod with a small speaker system, both speakers. But as I was saying, um, we had Teresa bought all this furniture for me and the, the cabinet, the chairs, the table, everything. And we lost it in a flood. German Village flooded. She actually had a beautiful carpet down on the concrete floor. And it was it was gorgeous. She did all this for me, and the basement flooded. We have a we had a rotten rain, just a huge rain. You could see the pictures on our blog, and we had probably three four inches of water right here. In the 30 years that I can remember, we never had a rain like this. And the people who live right behind us, who did not have a sump pump, we had we have an excellent sump pump. It's actually under underneath right there, um, back in there, behind all the Wayans coating. Um, and ours worked great, the people behind us didn't. Uh, other people in German Village had three feet of water in their basement, all because the city had closed off some culverts, so some construction projects wouldn't be harmed by a heavy rain downtown. Nobody can get them to own up to it. Um, in 30 years it hasn't happened since. We've had heavier rains, but I think I'm going to pile here instead of putting another carpet in because a few things stank as bad as the carpet rotting down here. The, the worst thing is I feel so sorry for Teresa, she spent all this money to, 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 have, to give me my own space here when she has her own beautiful space in, in the studio and you know then that damn flood hits. But that's it, that's the last room, take it easy.